Welcome to Mishnah Study Masachat Masrot Perekdal Mishnah Gimal. Over here in this Mishnah, I'm going to speak about if a person wants to hold, go ahead and dip his olives into salt. So he's not salting them, right? He's dipping one at a time into salt. And hotel is a team in a ma'atan. A person takes olives from the ma'atan. The ma'atan is a vat. Tovele hade had the melach veochel. Go ahead and dip one at a time into you know into salt and eat it one at a time. The malach venatan fanav hayav. But if you went ahead and you dipped it in salt and you placed it in front of you and then you let them gather, so now they're gathered together. Right now they're you know this is similar to when you brought them together. You bunched them together. So over here they're going to be hayav. Comes to Rabbi Ezer, and he says that he argues on the on Tanakhama the Mishnah, and he says that if you place it into a uh, a, a uh, for if you're taking it from a tahor uh, a pure vat, right, then it's going to be obligated master. If you take it from a tameh vat, it will be patur from master. That's how you understand this. The Gemara explains this, that Rabbi Eliezer is talking about a place where his intention means what? That when you take it from a pure vat, right, why is it hayav? Right? It's talking about a person who's tameh, and he takes it from a pure vat. Now, once he takes it, they become tameh in his hands. So he can't go ahead and put them back in the vat, right? Because it will make everything else tameh. So therefore, it's not considered a temporary eating anymore. This is much more permanent, and therefore, it's obligated in a ma'asrot. But if he takes it, right, from a tameh vat, right, and the person is tameh, and the vat itself, right, the olives in the vat are tameh, okay, so that could be considered a temporary eating because he go ahead and bring, put those olives, return those olives back into the vat after he's finished eating, right, because they were tameh, he, he, he's tameh, they're tameh, and there's no problem because the olives that he's going to put them back into are also tamit. So therefore, uh, that's considered that can be considered temporary eating, and it would be patur. Alachado is like the stamishna, like tanakama that we mentioned. There's no difference between tahor and tamir. You can take one at a time, but if you put them in front of you, it is uh, obligated in masa.